Can't see yourself becoming an imperial master? Plus, you have no talent? What should you do then? What matters more, talent or effort? Most people prefer to pick one, but here you need to embrace both. Talent is crucial. Among Atomy business owners, some only finished elementary school or even less, yet they became crown masters and imperial masters. Despite limited education, they're thriving in the Atomy business. They may lack formal education, but they're naturally smart. Then there are PhD holders who seem clueless. They attended prestigious universities and earned doctorates, but struggle with the basics of Atomy. What traits define such an individual? They may be well-educated, but they're self-centered. They look down on others. That's where their true ignorance lies. All they do is criticize their partner's work and discourage them. On the other hand, what does a clever individual do? They praise others, provide motivation, and express gratitude. Wise individuals uplift others and instill courage. What if you feel like you lack natural talent? What should you do? If talent's not your forte, lean into hard work. That's my story. I'm not exceptionally talented. There is proof. My academic records from elementary through college, prove it. But I'm a very hard worker. I'm not naturally smart, but I created the Atomy Compensation System. It's all about hard work and concentration. Has any other network marketing company in history boasted over 10 million members, regional offices in 27 countries, trillions in KRW sales, all while maintaining their original compensation system. No, not that I know of. I was determined to create the perfect compensation system, and I didn't sleep for three days fine-tuning it. Talent alone is not enough. So this year's catchphrase is, be excellent or be extreme. Talented individuals still have to do excellent work. And by excellent, I mean work with the dedication of a civil servant. Even the most talented individuals need to put in a solid eight hour workday. What fills those eight hours? It's all about making calls, meeting new people, explaining the business model, sharing the company vision, presenting products, and breaking down the compensation structure. You have to have basic skills. If these skills aren't your strong suit, what's the solution? Double down on your efforts. Having talent doesn't mean you can coast along without working. And if you don't have talent, you have to make up for it with hard work. It's not about choosing one or the other. You need both. Attitude is everything. You've heard of this, right? Attitude is everything. However, your state of mind is more important. There's this saying, the state of mind determines the attitude of a person. The eyes of a person set on success shine differently than those who've resigned themselves to failure. The key point here is the state of mind. The problem is that your state of mind is constantly shifting. How can you ensure your mindset stays resilient and success oriented? You have to control your state of mind with words. Some people can't stop mentioning how tough things are. Life is so hard, I can't stand it. They just won't stop complaining. They don't say their life is hard 
because it is. Their life is hard because they keep saying it's hard. It all begins with the tongue. A life of failure, one that feels like death, also starts with the tongue. Where does a successful person's journey begin? From their tongue. That's why positive speech is crucial. Positive speech. Consider the possibility of becoming an imperial master. Nobody in the world is 100% certain they'll become an imperial master. The odds of not achieving it are usually much higher. If you doubt your ability to become an imperial master, keep repeating, I'm going to be an imperial master earning $100,000 monthly. Let's make 100,000 a month. Let's make 100,000 a month. Let's make 100,000 a month. Keep shouting this. Folks, your goals need to be ambitious. Your vision should be on a grand scale. You'll always hear people say I've hit a roadblock or I'm at a standstill or there's an obstacle in my way. Those obstacles, you can't reduce them or avoid them. Remember, attitude is everything. Attitude is key. It's your state of mind that determines that attitude. And your state of mind is constantly shifting. And what controls it is your words. Keep your words positive, always telling yourself you can do it.